I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, he, he broke, he practically broke the internet in the last uh, mm. <laughs> couple of days. Uh, yesterday, you can the internet. <laughs> like he broke the internet with that uh, interview. I mean, we all know uh, Ronaldo. Piers Morgan is a fan of Cristiano Ronaldo, and um, he always speaks highly of Ronaldo. You know, whatever he does, even if he's right or wrong, Piers Morgan always always tweets about Ronaldo and stuff like that. We all know the situation with Ronaldo and uh, what's been going on with Manchester United. Then that. Uh, interview came out where he was you know i mean everybody collected bullets for that interview even the chef you know he, you know rafragne who's left the club collected his own, collected, we really collected his own bullet and stuff like that but i mean the walk up is around the corner but what, what do you make of that ronaldo interview all he said i mean he said a lot i don't know if they've released the episodes they've, they've still re- they're still releasing i don't know if the full video is out or, or something like that but we've read some, you know, some excerpts from that interview and, and everything. I mean, what do you make of the whole, the whole scenario about Ronaldo? All he's come out to see. I, I mean, it's not the first time players leave or coaches leave United and say things against the club. There was a time Mourinho came out to say that finishing second was his greatest, his greatest achievement. achievement. Then he came out to say that a lot of things are going down behind the scenes in the club, stuff like that. I think Sanchez as well came out to say something like that. You know, Zlatan, Zlatan. that United is a big club, but in the club, you know, things are not really working. Anyway. So, you, know, you know, stuff like that. But what do you think of the whole thing Rado has come out to say? And the, I think the timing is wrong. But you, know that, you, you know that thing they say, okay, the timing, I'm not going to blame Ronaldo for the timing. Because I don't think that that interview was done on that day. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I do yeah. interviews, so I know how we go through edit and release one of the things that i like to tell people i like to also point out from this interview when i do my interview and i break it into pieces people say oh, why are you breaking it into pieces look at what they do in europe it's the same thing yeah. so those people who don't even understand what the trend and the time is they're the ones that will come online i want to educate you you shouldn't be doing this you should put the when you put a, a two hour or one hour 30 minutes interview the same people again will come and say it's too long you're eating up their data that 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 taken care of let me let me be very clear with one thing uh ronaldo does not control the timing but what he could do as a big player he could have also asked that they shouldn't air it at so and so time that's one so if you want to judge it from a neutral perspective the first thing you will say does ronaldo have anything against argentines uh in one day where an argentine player you know had a moment to cha- to shine mm. to really shine mm. bright like a diamond in the sky all of a sudden ronaldo interview took away from what uh, the telemundo argentine player did alejandro uh, yeah, Nacho, sorry, uh, Alejandro, <laughs> Alejandro, Alejandro Ganacho. Ganacho. Yeah, <laughs> Alejandro Ganacho was able to save Manchester United and rewind the clock back and take us back to the days of Silas Ferguson where Manchester United always win the game at the death. But unfortunately, the Ronaldo chose to Kim Kardashian, the internet, and everything changed for him. And uh, we can't even remember uh, how uh, the young man you know, made that 45 minutes run, dash, and then got the ball and put it in the net. Something that other players have been trying to do all through the game couldn't do. But what i have to say here is the interview does Cristiano Ronaldo have the right to say what he wants to say yes but when you look at it from a professional football perspective i'm not going to bend word here because we didn't bend word with lukaku when lukaku came out and trashed chelsea once again Cristiano Ronaldo have not behaved professionally this is stupid Cristiano Ronaldo is stupid for doing it i'm going to say it. i don't care what people say oh his fanboys will come on my my youtube channel now and try to shred me but the truth of the matter is Cristiano Ronaldo have behaved foolishly and again exemplify that same thing that everybody have said about Cristiano Ronaldo behind his back that Cristiano Ronaldo fights for only Cristiano Ronaldo he thinks of himself he doesn't think about other so people this, this approves it now it this it. proves it like Cristiano Ronaldo is all about himself if you want to leave Cristiano Ronaldo is big enough to player to say he want to leave and I, I, I heard the way he's not making it look I didn't want to come before so Alex is the one that make me come shut up you don't have where you're going to you were rejected at uh, Juventus People got tired of you. We also heard what Kellini and Bonucci, Bonucci said about Cristiano Ronaldo. People were tired of you. People were fed up. There are some people who can't talk because Cristiano Ronaldo have... Cristiano Ronaldo is European Illuminati of football. He has all the machineries, his sister, his girlfriend, everybody, his fanboys. They have everything. We just found out recently that they don't play matches that involve Messi in Portugal. A whole country. Okay, people who are broadcast right will not because of to make Cristiano Ronaldo happy. I don't care what what whatever position he claimed to be. I'm not gonna argue against his football greatness. But it, the yeah. same way nobody can argue against Adolf Hitler's greatness, that does not make him a, a, a good person. Cristiano Ronaldo is a bad person, and we, we should say the way it is. I, I don't care what kind of behavior is that. You sign a con- you have a contract with this club, you should respect the club. And 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 coming out to say Manchester United don't respect. Who the hell are you, by the way? 
I was about to go there and I don't the respect Who the, who the hell is Cristiano Ronaldo? Because he came out Manchester and said that. Manchester United is an institution. Cristiano Ronaldo will never be an institution. He's just one bloody person that will come and go. Cristiano Ronaldo will not be uh, an institution. If he thinks he's so great, eh, he should go and buy a club and raise the club to the level of Manchester United. Then we'll, we'll have this conversation again. People don't respect Glazer. Glazer is the owner of uh, Manchester United right now. And he's the one that pays the salary of Cristiano Ronaldo and the lots of every other player that is in the team. Yes, people can complain about how the stadium is decaying. How many people respect the Glazer? Do they come out and sit up and give an interview and say, oh, this one is happening, that is happening? Cristiano Ronaldo does not invest in the club. He's the player who earns the biggest salary in the club. He's a player who, even without playing, he's been trying too much tantrum. He doesn't play. He works out. Let's re rewind the clock back to when he was signed up from Sporting. He was a small boy but they put other young uh, uh, senior players on the bench for Cristiano Ronaldo and nobody complained. Nobody go and do an interview and say, oh, the club is not respecting me. There is a time where Cristiano Ronaldo was the doyan. He was the big owner of the hood. He was the, 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 the grandmaster. Okay? He's the arena grande. But right now, he is not. He should understand that and understand that very, very well. Right now, he's retiring and he should rest. He should leave the spotlight for other people. Don't hug on the spotlight forever. You can't do that. Okay? I don't care who Cristiano Ronaldo take it easy. It's not Manchester United. It's not bigger than Manchester United. It's not even bigger than FC Taraba. Even for FC, it's not bigger than them. So it should shut up and sit. If you don't want to play for the club, okay, retire. See, uh, Barcelona were, were not going to treat, uh, what's it called, uh, Gerard Pique properly. In the middle of a season, he had a running contract. He retired because he does not see himself fighting a battle with his beloved club. That's when you say somebody is a legend that's when you say somebody is responsible that's when you say somebody have respect for the game if you don't like Manchester United respect the game of football I think what Cristiano Ronaldo did is wrong Cristiano Ronaldo practically threw everybody under the bus nobody in this world is so perfect that everybody around them is bad then there must be something about you that makes everybody around you bad. And I say, Cristiano Ronaldo is the kind of guy who believes that everybody should sing his praise. If you don't praise him, if you critique him, he comes publicly and refuses to hug you. Refuse to change. Cristiano Ronaldo should shut up. Like, I mean, he should <laughs> shut up. Last week was Shego. I mean, this week is... Cristiano Ronaldo should let shut me, up. Let me, let me, let I me. am done with the shit coming out of him. Because at some point, we should all remember that people play this football before him. Who the hell does Cristiano Ronaldo think he is? I don't, I don't care. Maybe, maybe it's it, I am not a speech. fan of Manchester United. I've never been. But we all, before we were born, we've all lived to see the greatness of this club. And no matter what, Cristiano Ronaldo might have more Champions League than Manchester United. But hey, Manchester United have produced more players than Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo can say all he wants to say. Score 700 goals. Manchester United in two seasons as a club will score more than 700 goals. So I don't care what Cristiano Ronaldo says he is. But I think at some point he should respect the club. I said this thing some years ago. People said I was sick. Cristiano Ronaldo will not I will never be any club legend as great as he is. People said I don't know what I'm saying. He will never be any club. He's not a club legend. He's, he's not a Madrid legend. He's not a no, sporting. Really. That's, yes, that's, 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 Think about it for a minute. It's not a man. What, like, what is done, the trophies he won with Madrid. Nobody gives a fuck about that. You have to put, have to put, him, put him up no. as a legend no. for Real Madrid. Are you, you, you want to I mean, fuck the legend for Madrid? No, I'm not trying to force it, but I mean, what is done is it's just all right to say he's Madrid a legend. Is Madrid calling him their legend? I think some some session will call who, it. Who, who is this section? Because well, I, I, I don't want to believe that you, 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 you don't want to tell me about it. Madrid legend. He's not every Madrid legend. He's a Manchester United legend. You, oh, you, this, this, this one that you're not going to the bus? <laughs> no, he's this, out of Manchester United. Very, you, very is very it, is it Manchester United Manchester. legend? No, no. Come on, what are you saying? Come so so on. If, if he hasn't done what he's done now, you, you wouldn't have called him a legend. Listen, because, man, because of what he's done now, you say he's a legend. I agree to Madrid is a legend. No, he's not a legend. See, listen. A woman that carries a child for nine months still goes out there and on the chart. There comes a place where your child goes from being your child to become too recalcitrant, then you cut them off. Even the Bible says that if your left eye will cause you to see, pluck it out. This is the point where you pluck Ronaldo out. Too many people sing praises of Cristiano Ronaldo even when he doesn't deserve the praise. Is he a great player? Nobody's going to argue about that. But even great players mess up. Ronaldo messed up and we all call him out because of drug. Right? So, this is the point where you say to Cristiano Ronaldo, you have effed up big time. I, see, I'm not one of those people who thinks, oh, if Cristiano Ronaldo does not hug me or doesn't shake me, we're not going to meet. I don't need him, you don't need me. But I will not use my show to, 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 to dance Koto for Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo messed up with that interview. If we all concluded that Lukaku messed up with the interview he did with, with Chelsea and was yeah, kicked that, 
He messed up, yeah. This one, he messed up. And let's call it what it is. He's not any club legend. He's one of those players that will forever be seen as <laughs> Tebe Tebe. He's floating on top of water. He has no roots. <laughs> I think, I think that, that, won't, that won't go down well with him. Uh, in, in oh, yes, who cares? Who cares? We go down well with it. Let's, let, me, let me bring you now. But this is a guy who, who his contract, I think it ends next summer. And, uh, and now when I hear that Bayern, uh, Bayern didn't want to sign him, I'm uh, sorry for Bayern. And you're coming out to, to you know, say this kind of thing. I, I don't think he's going to play for Man United again after this World Cup. It would be shocking, even if he comes out to apologize, it would be shocking to see him play for Man United come January after the World Cup. I blame Eric Ten Hag. But for you to come out to say this, you should be able to, you should secure him moving in the January transfer window because I don't see him play for Manchester United again. But Ten Hag, the way he's handled the situation, I mean, Ronaldo came out to say he doesn't, he, he was blunt. That he doesn't respect the manager because the manager doesn't respect him. I mean, this is a this is a manager. Uh, you know, there were talks that he called him to you know at the dying stages of. A, I can't remember the game now. Called Ronaldo, he had to warm up, and you didn't later put him in the game after telling him to warm up before we now saw reports that he was actually called to come on, but he refused to come on. But how do you, what do you make of the whole situation and how Eric Ten Hag has handled the Ronaldo situation so far. In general, just sum up the whole Ronaldo situation. You need to like, you need to very know something. Ronaldo Cristiano is not con- going to come out to apologize. He's going to come out and justify himself. That's a very very different thing. Apologizing yeah, the chances are, are like one in a hundred. But justifying himself that could really really happen. Eric Ten Hag for sure. Man, Ronaldo is going to play. He has a contract. He pay money. Ten Hag is just going to push down that boss for me. And they're gonna move over. It might take some time. It might no, take, no comment. It might take a lot of time, but they're gonna. They're paying him money. They're gonna play. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be surprised if he plays after. But the they're not before. paying Obama Young money. They were, but this, they're not paying Ozzy money. They were. Well, they're not paying Icardi money. They were. Icardi. Yeah, carries that they pay them. Those people that carries that no, they, they were not paying them. But this, I know, this, I know. Maybe, maybe this is a Ronaldo who can still win games for you. You know, you just bring him off the bench to you know still you know do what he knows how to do it's going to first of all you don't have many players and the way you have it no matter what it might take three months four months six months but before that kind of experience in no Silas Ferguson's book of 2013 I quote the day a player begins to feel that he's bigger than the coach or the club is that's the last day he plays for the club and right now that's exactly what Cristiano Ronaldo is doing and let's take from the reads the gospel according to the great I'm, I'm, legendary iconic sir alex ferguson cristiano ronaldo you are fired I'm, you're not I'm, gonna play you are fired you don't know where sir so alex ferguson is sticking right now wherever he is manchester united thing. can pay him off like off payment why can't they pay them off um, is you think the club is that poor i'm not saying how much, is, how much is the size of his contract he pay he earns 500k every week and so bloody what uh, uh, uh obama here was earning 250 000 pounds every week at arsenal small club compared to manchester united they paid him off they didn't collect money for the transfer they also gave me money say guy to let us let you know how stupid you are and how useless you are take the money go he went to barcelona score hat trick score everything when push comes to shop they sent him to to yes. Clay, to, to the house of clay for potter to be modern Leave all this thing without the talk. See, I don't care what Cristiano Ronaldo is earning right now. Eh? I don't care how much. If you like, let me, let me be paying him a billion. That interview damaged everything that Cristiano Ronaldo represents. And it damaged the relationship between them, him and the club called Manchester United. If Manchester United still put a line to wear their jersey again. It puts uh, Alex Ferguson in a bad place in the history of the club. I don't agree with Cristiano Ronaldo coming out. He was practically cheating on everybody. Every single person when running. So anybody who there to criticize you is a bad person anybody who does not fanboy you who does not sing your praise is a bad person well done no even the, people they criticize god finally even I... god people they criticize god who the hell is cristiano ronaldo please somebody remind me again <laughs> now you get the club 